Professor Betty Nanyonga Chivumbi's love for science started with childhood curiosity, taking apart radios and watches to understand how they worked. Today, she applies the same curiosity to complex global challenges through mathematical modeling. Of course, it is challenging, but rewarding, but attaching success or being uh, good in STEM with gender, to me, it came uh, later on in my, when I had already got almost doing masters. Mm -hmm. uh, because I could hear people saying that women are not good at math or science, and I wondered why. Because to me, it was we are equally capable of uh, succeeding mm -hmm. in science. Yes. So it just came later on when I could see people attaching science to genetics, thinking boys uh, with the male have genes that make them perform well. Yeah. But in class, to me, it was the same. Professor Chivumbi is a senior lecturer of mathematics at the Department of Mathematics in Makerere University's College of Natural Sciences. Despite her successes, she acknowledges that there are stereotypes and challenges women in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, or STEM, careers face. You know when people attach a title to someone, then definitely there will be fear. But when you look at the person, uh, you get to know that person, you just, you just know that they are the same as you. There is nothing exceptional about them in that feel in that circle say, of social life. We are all the same. The exception comes when you're teaching or when I'm teaching math and you think that is like great. But I cannot be in a geography class and I excel. Mm -hmm. Everyone has their own special talents. And to me, achievement, whether in geography or mathematics, it's the same. Yeah. We are just talented in different ways. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Professor Chivumbi played a key role on Uganda's Scientific Advisory Committee using mathematical models to guide Uganda's health policies and decisions at the time and in designing vaccination rollout strategies. You remember COVID was so complex, the information was limited, it was new, and it was not ethical to sit and test someone, for example, on how a certain procedure would work. But you can sit down with mathematics and project all different scenarios without harming anyone. Yeah. In the rollout of the vaccination, we had to sit and estimate the proportion that would uh, guarantee Ugandans to have at least a level of herd immunity. The mathematician is a strong advocate for mentorship and education, working with schools to encourage young girls to pursue science subjects. And the challenge is, is that some of the policies we have don't favor women, not just women in STEM, but women across. When I was doing my postdoctorate in in Sweden, I think it was the fourth. I that's when I gave birth. But in Sweden, they they, they have uh, those facilities for nursing mothers. We've got a building, and there is somewhere you can go sit with your child while you're doing work. So if we have policies that give us that, uh, maybe just as working women, not just for women in STEM, although it is it will. Help uh, us more. Mm -hmm. I think it would be nice. Well, we can come here in the university to come with your baby, and there is some place you can go do your work while you're watching over that baby. She believes success is about setting priorities and grabbing opportunities whenever they arise, in spite of a woman's demanding family responsibilities. Uh, when you get opportunities, you take them because these postdoctorates have really led me to lots of collaborations in those four different countries. So it is really, we should take on the, uh, the opportunities that we get, not to give excuses that no, now I have a young child, I cannot go. I went with that boy, well, sorry, the girl when she was just two weeks. With collaborations in Africa and beyond, Professor Chivumbi's work is making lasting impact, proving that women in science are key to shaping Uganda's development and future. Walter Mwesije, NTV.